timeline and an infinite, oh, infinite, infinite spatial existence. The fine tune of this planet is completely conceivable over trillions of years of evolution, chaotic events, and accumulation. I don't think it leads us. And you've you, you seen mathematical models to prove that, have you? Pardon? You've seen mathematical models to prove that, have you? No, no one's ever proved that. Right. Because I, I, I've heard there've been mathematical, there've been uh, uh, mathematicians and physicists at Cambridge who uh, ra ran the maths on this. And it, it's infinitely unlikely the universe we live in, with all its properties, could come about no matter how much time you allow. The universe isn't infinitely old, by the way. It's what, 13 and a half, 13 and a half, 14, half, 14 billion years old. Billion. So it, it is finite in length. And the, the, the uh, as I say, the exquisite fine tuning of the laws of physics we see, and, and the complexity and the incredible engineering. The more science uncovers the universe, its properties, the more marvelous and extraordinary it is. It's, it, just, it just shouts. Intent, it design to me. It doesn't shout randomness or chaos or atheism. Uh, you know, th there is something glorious about the universe which is not accidental. And even the human mind within our own souls, our souls are not just products of evolution. They're, mu they're completely different from that. Our minds transcend mere material causation. I don't know if they do though. Oh, I, I can prove um, it. I can prove so it. There's, there's evidence uh, for that. The next chief engineer at Google who left mm. his job because AI was getting too advanced. Yeah. And this guy, I saw him on a podcast recently saying how AI uh, are people and they have feelings and they want to be free. Mm. So it only took us, what, 70 years? Since the internet was invented. What, what was that designed, by the way? Were those computers designed by human beings? Yeah, so who's to say we weren't designed by someone else? No, no, but that's my point. You see, you're happy to attribute design to this guy from Google yeah. talking about intelligent yeah. design. But yeah. the human brain, the human conscious, is infinitely more sophisticated than that. But you say that's not designed. Yeah, that's not really but that, that's not consistent. Yeah. You can't be um, impressed at machines and not be impressed at the human mind, it's which is much more sophisticated. What do you mean? I said I'm agnostic. Right. But why? Okay, which means you don't know. Is that right? Right. right. But why aren't you? In, but you are happy to attribute design or acknowledge design when it comes to AI. Yeah, because I don't think it's right. an interest in the fine-tuning of this universe and this galaxy and us Why not? depend upon a god. But, you, but you, well, I'm not saying a god, I'm saying an intelligence that transcends or exists behind this universe. Whether or not you call it god, I don't really mind. Yeah. Well, it, well, then it gets down to the question of Islam. But, 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 when, but when you come to inter AI, where you know the cause of that, you can say, oh, well, that's designed by someone. You're happy to acknowledge intelligent design there, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not with an infinitely more complicated and finely tuned universe. No, no, and I'm saying that's not consistent. I just, there's no evidence. Well, well, but the evidence but acknowledge evidence in AI. Well, why wouldn't it acknowledge it for the universe? It's just a much more complicated, exquisitely fine-tuned, engineered, exquisite machine, if you like, much more than this mere human creation. You'll acknowledge it in the human creation, but you won't acknowledge divine creation. And I'm saying they're both creations. One is the creation of a mind, yeah. and, and so is the other. But then it's an extra mm. to say Islam is the way. What is, is, what, what is Islam, do you think? What's Islam about? Islam is submission to the one who is worthy of worship. Right, but Islam, yeah, it means submission of one's will to God. Yeah. But Islam is centered on the existence of the Creator, right. submitting our wills to the Creator. You find the Creator God in, in Judaism, in, Christian, uh, in uh, Christianity, and so on. Highly specific and uh, lawful. And yeah. so, so I'm saying that if you acknowledge uh, intelligent design with AI, I don't understand why you don't acknowledge intelligent design with, say, DNA or the laws of physics. Yeah, I guess you can say the I don't, I don't see it. But it's not, it's, it's not, you know, I don't have to keep consistent in every sort of regard. I'm just, I'm just saying your, your, your reasons why you acknowledge design in one case and not in the other. I don't see the, why you, you stop short with well, one. We can create something like that. Yeah. We could have been created but, by, okay. by an alien race. But, but did we, okay, but did we create the universe? We're nothing like God. So but the fact that we are absolutely. able to create that proves yeah. that you don't need God for this sort of stuff. No, no, no. If, if we see exquisite design and engineering in nature, which we do, obviously, that suggests an intelligence. Just like the AI that man created yeah, with Google. Yeah, perhaps. So, so it's the same logic, but you're saying the logic applies to one and not to the other. And I'm, I don't understand why you make that. Maybe, maybe it is intelligent design, but God is a whole different step away from that. Mm. But God is not just that's a designer. That's, that's a, okay. The genome of intelligent design is there. Mm. God, superior species, evolution. I mean, what's to say that evolution is in, in, a, in, a, in a theological sense, isn't an intelligent design in itself? It's a moving force. Well, if evolution happened, I don't have a problem with it. It's a God directed process. 
got God still involved in or directs the process. As scientists involved in what is observable, but as human beings, we can look more holistically at everything and say, God caused the universe to exist. He sustains it in existence. Why is there something rather than nothing? Why is there something now in existence? You can't say evolution. That's not an answer. Because I'm asking a metaphysical question. Science can't address these questions. Well, yeah, we shouldn't talk metaphysical, so shouldn't we? Why not? Well, because that's gobbledygook. That's stepping out well, of... Why, why is it gobbledygook? It's perfectly rational to me. They're reasonable. If you see something that is exquisitely designed, you say there's a creator or designer of it. That's not gobbledygook. Well, you mentioned metaphysics. So metaphysics, metaphysics is stepping outside rationality and, and the no, laws no. of physics. Met metaphysics is simply what is beyond physics. It's, right. it, it, it is. Yeah. You see, the question is still there. It, we may not like to ask it, but people are going to say, why is there something rather than nothing? Why does the universe bother to exist yeah. moment by moment? And Darwin doesn't answer that question. Well, uh, Sorry? So maybe the universe was infinite. Maybe it wasn't created. It wasn't infinite. It came about the Big Bang. We know that. So you don't know what was before that. Maybe there was... There was no before. Multiverse theory where there's constant black holes, and now of that black hole, infinitely dense space, there is an yeah. explosion. Yeah. You're still left with the same question. Okay, but I've asked. No, no, question. no. I said I'm not okay. sure, and that's why I'm asking. And I said maybe there is a God. Maybe you're right. I completely can see mm. that. Now, can you answer my question? Which about is what? The, how can it God be all loving if uh, if someone is destined, he is made by God for hell? Because God knows this man will never be Muslim. Okay. And there, he knows about his life. Okay. God, as we know from his... And you can't uh, say... Sorry, go on. Please don't tell me what I can't say. <laughs> right. I, That's I, not I quite take, fair. I take God is un unseen and un un understandable I, I, as an okay. answer. You can't, you, can't, right you can't tell me in advance what I can and cannot say by way of an answer. No, sorry, I didn't mean that. I mean, yeah. I won't accept that. And okay, but that's fine. I, I'm not going to look to please you. Okay. I'm not going to look to make you happy. I'm not going to look... Uh, th 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 that's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the truth. Okay. Um, th there, are, there are many things in the hidden wisdom of God that I don't understand. I don't understand why he created you, for example. Yeah. Yeah. There's a good reason why he did. Uh, there's a good reason why lots of things in the universe happen the way they do. It's an article of the Islamic belief that God not only creates the universe but sustains it and he determines everything that exists. It's also taught in Islam that we have, is a supposition of ethics actually, and the call of the prophets to us that we respond, that we have some free will. I don't understand in my finite human mind how to make theoretical sense of that. Maybe some people can, I can't. That doesn't mean it's not true, it means I need to have some epistemic humility. Yeah. Epistemic humility. Yeah. And not think I must have all the answers before I believe anything. Because there are lots of things I don't know about life. Yeah. All right? the, the reason I talk about epistemic humility is that when we don't know things, don't answers, it doesn't mean that's an argument against something. It means we don't know the answer. And that's cool. Actually, I don't have a problem with not knowing stuff unless I'm morally required to know things like when to submit my bank account details or my tax, you know, that, that I had to know about. But when it comes to really, really big questions, I only know what God has revealed or shown to disclose about his, his purposes in the Quran and the Torah, in the, the Injil, the Gospel and so on. Yeah. So that would be a broad answer. I don't have a specific answer about Hitler, okay. but I do know that God is in control. Or any man. Me, or, or any, or any man. Christian. These answers, the Quran does state that these questions will be answered. Yeah. So I'm happy to wait for the answer. If you're impatient and say, no, no, I want them now, that's okay, but you're still not going to get them now. You're only going to get them later. Well, well it will be too late if the answers need for help. You see, I'll, I will already be there for eternity. Why will you be in hell? Why are you so sure? Because I'm not convinced that Prophet Muhammad was the last messenger. And why, why are you not convinced that he was the last messenger? Or a, a prophet, even? Oh, I mean, these are, these are big questions. Um, I'm interested, yeah. actually. Why am I not? I just, I'm, I'm not convinced yet. Right. Uh, what would convince you? What do you need to hear or understand to convince you that the Muhammad, upon whom be peace, is a prophet of God? Well, it's, it's two things. It's uh, all convincing. Fundamental disembowelment of Christianity. The fundamental disembowelment, disembowelment of yeah, Christianity. Yeah, yeah, which would leave me with only one choice. Oh, I see what you mean. Because right now it's just a theological war between the two big religions. Uh, and I don't know which foot to, you know, which lane to step in. And also it would have to be a leap away from my path because it's never going to be proved to me. Unless, unless I get some gin, gin speaking to me or something. I think there is proof, but coming back to the Christianity thing, Islam affirms, the Quran affirms Jesus as a prophet of God, as a Messiah of God, born of the Virgin Mary, he will return again. The, 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 the essentials of 
of belief about Jesus, yeah. that many of which you'll find in Christianity, are believed in Islam. So do you believe actually. that the Injil is um, sustained, or do you think the Injil is corrupted? Do you believe there was an original Injil that was changed? What, what do we mean by the Injil is obviously the Arabic word for gospel, gospel. singular. Yep. And according to the Quran, it was given to Jesus. Yep. So it's not the Gospels of according to Matthew, according to Mark, according to John, according to Luke. Okay. It's a gospel. It is a single gospel given to Jesus. Yeah. So it's not the New Testament Gospels. So when, when, by when definition, when went to Ethiopia and they saw the Ethiopians had old uh, gospel books, they had old Bibles. We found these Bibles, and Muhammad was carrying that Bible. I think it says in the Hadith somewhere that I, I've not come across any Hadith and, um, that says that. I, I don't think. Uh, why, why have you ever come across? The first um, migration well. was to um, Abyssinia, yeah. which is Ethiopia yeah. today. But he wasn't carrying but, a Bible. Uh, this the is not quite right. Yeah, this is this is. I think the, it is right. But Muhammad it's himself it. didn't go. So we have that. It, it, he, he, he didn't go there. That was the first wave of some of his companions who. Uh, this is a pre hijra hijra in a way that they uh, that they did their migration because they're being persecuted. That's correct, to my knowledge. Okay. The prophet no. didn't go Abyssinia, but and he, and he didn't have gospels either. Or a gospel. That, that, I, this is something I've, I've never heard any Muslim or. Why would the disciples not say to the Ethiopians these are wrong? The, because, it, well, I don't know about that. Can we, they believe Jesus was God. Right. Can we just come back to the, the original point here, uh, which was that Muslim beliefs about Jesus are much more historically credible about uh, who Jesus really was. For example, historians now uh, agree that Jesus primarily saw himself as a prophet, as a messiah. Je Christians usually say he's the second person of the Trinity, that he's God. Yeah. And that he didn't, historians now don't think that Jesus thought that he was God. The Quran says he wasn't God. I would say the Quran is much more historically credible when it comes to who, who Jesus was, according to what we now know of history and the Gospels themselves. So the continuity is there from Jesus to Islam in terms of who Jesus really was. The, the discontinuity is with Christianity and what Jesus really was. Muslims, if you want to follow Jesus today, I would suggest you follow Muhammad and Islam because Muslims have correct beliefs about Jesus. Christians, if they're traditional Christians, not liberals or radical, tend to have historically unfounded beliefs about Jesus. Right. So, so that's the answer I'm to your to your Christian, question. I'm agnostic. Yeah. Um, but just to play on the Christian side of it, Muslims believe he didn't die on the cross. Yes. They believe he didn't get resurrected. The Quran, the Quran says that uh, it appeared to them that he had been crucified, but in fact he wasn't crucified. That's the basis of Muslim belief. Sorry, I got distracted. What was that? So Muslims believe because the Quran says. Uh, that it appeared to them, to the Jews, that he was crucified, but in fact he wasn't crucified. Right. Yeah, I don't believe that at all. I believe the Romans must right. have crucified him. What, because... what evidence do you have that he was? Well, because we can see from the Roman, Roman uh, note-keeping that he was. What, 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 what note-keeping are you referring I don't know to? specifically, but it's, it's widely accepted that Jesus was crucified. No, no. Him. What evidence do we have that? Okay. What evidence do we have that he was crucified? I mean, seriously. What, what textual well, I, I evidence? I genuinely there is evidence. I don't have it to hand okay. on. You see, I don't think there is anything. Because the four Gospels that we have yeah. are not eyewitness accounts, we now know. Right. They're, they're second generation accounts written by unknown they people. No, they weren't, written, they weren't written by people who knew Jesus. They were anonymous second generation. So Matthew was not written by the Apostle Matthew. John was not written by Apostle John, according to the overwhelming consensus of modern historians. So. What about archaeological evidence? Do we have any any physical evidence that we can see? Ah, this is yeah, Jesus. Well, we have Jesus' cross in Ethiopia. Oh, do, do, do we? Yeah, we do. Uh, and who? And in Ethiopia? Yeah. Right. How do you know that? It's an Ethiopian woman told me, and I searched up. An Ethiopian things. woman told you. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's the history of do we have anything independent of that that's been scientifically, historically carbon dated to the first century? In, in what sense? Well, do we do we have any wood? If that's what you're saying, it's been carbon dated to the first yeah, century. Yeah, yeah. But we don't. We do, it's on a mountain in Ethiopia. Okay, we don't. No, 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 no history on social science has ever said, you Google it now, that we have the, the, the cross of Jesus. It doesn't exist. But we, we have it, it, it disappeared 2,000 years ago. With the Codex, Codex Sinaiticus. The Codex Sinaiticus is a 4th century manuscript in the British Library. It was written four centuries after the birth of Jesus. How is that evidence of the crucifixion of Jesus? Um, hold on, let me show you this cross. Codex Sinaiticus was, was created in about the middle of the 4th century AD from Mount Sinai.
Yeah, but so, wasn't the Quran canonized in the, in the uh, 20th century? Yeah, but, but, uh, no, it wasn't. It was never canonized at all. It was an oral revelation given to the Prophet Muhammad upon whom he peace. It was accepted as revelation immediately by his companions. The Bible wasn't seen as the word of God, by the way. The Gospels weren't seen as the word of God for many, many uh, generations until afterwards. So you Google that about the cross in Ethiopia. Yeah, just, What's it say? I'm more interested in what you're saying right now. Well, that's flattering, but I'm interested to know about this proof of the, uh, the cross of Jesus. Well, you're not going to believe it's proof. I'm just going to show you a picture, but this is an Ethiopian. I, I want a peer review journal, any, any, major, any mainstream news source that says we have discovered the cross of Jesus from the first century. Until the brother finds his article, I have a question. Like, if, if the Gospels are not like, the author is not agreed upon, based on what the church accepted the, the source of, of those Gospels, like, is it like anonymous to have your the word of God from an anonymous source? Sorry. Good this question. Good. good question. Carry on. Just What's it say? Place where the portion of the cross on which Jesus Christ was crucified is kept in Ethiopia. Yeah, has it been carbon dated by a scientist? I don't know. Well, does it say that it well, has? Why, why would they say that? If... Well, we need to. Well, you see, that, do you know if you go to um, there's a Catholic church over there in Farm Street. So that's the African news. Uh, and and uh, I remember when I was a Roman Catholic. They brought out a, a fragment of the true cross of Jesus, right? And I said to the priest, as a Jesuit, I said, what, this is actually being dated to the first century? And he rebuked me and said, you shouldn't ask such questions like that. Yeah. Thousands and thousands of uh, churches have fragments of the true cross. I submit that none of them have been carbon dated to the first century. And if they were all put together, you'd have a forest. And do you know how many, and I'm sorry to be, I'm not being obscene here, but this is a real fact. There are many, many foreskins of Jesus in churches around medieval Europe. Lots of foreskins of Jesus. How many foreskins did he have? I don't mean to be crude, but this is a reality. These are relics in the medieval church. They're being created for a gullible population. We don't really have thousands of foreskins. We don't really have the Holy Cross. None of it has been dated to the first century. It's all religious kind of stuff, which we don't have to really believe in. Right. But when it comes to the Gospels, there are excellent reasons now why historians do not believe they're written by eyewitnesses, not least because they don't claim to be written by eyewitnesses. They're anonymous and they contradict each other and they could not have been written by Jesus' disciples because they're written in sophisticated Greek. The fishermen at that time in Galilee did not read and write. They didn't go to Galilee High School or Galilee University and learn Hebrew. Yeah. Only 4% of the Roman Empire was actually literate, could read and write. 4% the elite. Fishermen in Galilee were not part of the elite. The chances of them having written anything, anything, is zero. Well, I don't mind. Basically, that. I don't mind the educated well, priests. Why this matters is when it comes to eyewitness testimony of the events you describe, we don't have it. We have we have anonymous Islam, second generation a narrative that's passed down orally through word of mouth, and it's perfectly preserved uh, through word of mouth. Um, there is what's called mutawata. It's multiply attested. It was handed verbally in two ways, yeah. uh, verbally and in written form verbally to literally tens or hundreds of thousands of people during the lifetime of the prophet. So it was not going to be changed if so many people knew it was. Secondly, we now have, because I spoke to an expert uh, on this, Dr. Sitki, who's the uh, executive director of the International Chronic Association. We now have 100% of the Chronic manuscripts from the first century Hijra. We actually have physical proof of the same Quran we have today, now is the same Quran we had in the first century. The first, first century? Hijra. Hijra. Uh, the, okay, the, migration. The, the migration. This is the, this is the Islamic calendar. So the, the Islamic calendar begins when the Prophet Muhammad emigrated from, to, from Mecca to from Medina. Medina. That's the beginning. Of, the Christian calendar obviously begins from year year dot. If I was to ask a Christian, how many how many gospel, how many manuscripts of the Testament do we have from the first century? The answer is zero. So when you say the first Nothing. Century, you mean the eighth century? <laughs> Yeah. And how many do we have from the second century for the, from the Christian era? We only have a tiny credit card sized fragment of the Gospel of John put in the Corbett John Ryland fragment. In, exactly. So when is the earliest complete New Testament ever that we have dated to? New Testament. It's the Codex Sinaiticus just over there in the British Library. It's dated to the fourth century AD, 400 years after Jesus was born. The earliest chronic manuscripts and the oral tradition, which is Mutawata, massively multiply attested, goes back to the time of the companions. At least the time of the companions. Yes. You have a complete Quran from the first century. Yes. Complete. In written form and orally. 100%. Complete. Yes. And How is this not common knowledge? Yeah, it is common knowledge. By the way, like Mutawata means like from different chains, and the yeah. count of them are 1,050 <clears throat> different 
chains of narratives. So like the possibility for them to consent over like changing the text is almost impossible. Yeah. But the other question this is, 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 is a good point. Is the other question for, for you the is like how come like this is a well known <clears throat> thing for anybody who studies like Christian um, you know Doctorate. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you. Not at all. Not at all. I want to tap out. Yeah. Good to, to meet you. Inshallah, we'll meet again one day, dude. You need to learn more, but I'm an Englishman like you. Yeah, Islam, I want to Islam is. Reinforcements because I want to find the truth. Islam is our religion for the future in Britain. It's you our religion. If I get reinforcements. What do you mean reinforcements? It's not an army. We're not no, like, no, 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 war. No, no. People who know <laughs> ten times more than me because I'm not a scholar at all. Okay, I'm not a scholar either. And there are no scholars down here, by the way. So you're not going to get scholars to come. If you did find some, that'd be great. There are no scholars down here, I'm afraid. Oh, look, Bob the Builder is not doing anything. Uh, Bob the Builder is not a scholar. One, one thing probably I'm going to say is that the time of the 